My name is Benjamin Barlow Baisley. Uh, I'm an ensemble dancer with New Adventures. The first production of it I saw must have been the Royal Ballet's version. It just made me feel really joyful at the time. Um, and yeah, I, I thought about that actually a lot going into this. Uh, how I felt then and how I'd like people to feel watching our production. I can't quite remember the first time I became aware of this version. Probably at some point when I was training. But I remember thinking how different it was from every other version of the show because it is told in a very different way than the classical versions. I have two roles. Uh, I play uh, Jack Gobstopper and also Bob Gobstopper. So they're quite similar in terms of their outward appearance when they're on stage. But if you dive a little bit deeper, it's created slightly different character dynamics. And for both of them, obviously they're Gobstoppers and the Gobstopper dance is we're supposed to be almost like a biker gang. So we took a lot of inspiration from biker gangs and we watched a lot of the versions that the New Adventures have done before and took little bits of snippets from all of them and kind of brought them together to create our own personal version of the show. What I personally took away from the most recent version that we watched, which was 10 years ago now when they last did it, was how engaged those characters were with the audience. A lot of the other characters have a lot of connections on the stage but I think for the Gobstoppers it's very out to the audience because they're quite funny characters so the audience like to feel a part of what they're doing on stage. It's an incredibly hard time the rehearsal period especially on a show like this where quite a few new members of the company join uh, but then also had some extremely long-standing members um, which was a really nice balance because you need you need the experience to guide the room in how we should be learning, where we need to be focusing, but you also need that new youthful kind of energy coming into the studio. I think it is so iconic simply for how different it is from every other version out there. He's taken the, the core values of the original show and the classical versions and kind of flipped it on its head and made it almost more relatable. Uh, we start in an orphanage, um, not in a grand house. So my favourite scene to perform would be the gobstopper dance, because uh, we just have such fun doing it. Every time we do it, there's something new, something different we add in, and the audience really love it, they really engage with it. I think the audiences will enjoy the beginning of Act Two, with the, the Cupids coming across, seeing Clara, uh, coming down and having this whole interaction with her, showing her where she needs to be going, her dress flying in, I just think is so, lovely to watch. It's an amazing piece of theatre. In the show I have five quick changes. We have one where we actually get undressed slightly on stage, uh, which is probably the most nerve-wracking one because you know the whole audience is watching you try and take your shoes off. And we have our dresses backstage which will preset all of our costumes and you have your socks all rolled up ready to get on your feet and it's a case of being calm in that moment of, okay, I've got to get back on stage, I can hear my music starting. And that comes with a little bit of practice. You never get it the first time in Tech Week. So I think this company does it incredibly well in all their shows. They create a, such an incredible bubble of people. It, it is just such a fun show. You can get really get into your characters, your orphan character in the first act. And then when you come into the second act, into the sweetie land, it is just all about fun. It's all about joy and having a good time. Usually the second act you get quite dark, quite serious and there's a lot you have to emotionally go through but in this show it is all about just joy and fun and love and laughter and all the good things in life.